Hey guys, just thought we'd do a little a uh, casting video today. It's going to be my first casting. Um, I haven't done it at all yet. I, I've casted some ingots, but that's it. I um, haven't actually casted any live projects. So I'm going to start out fairly simply. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, uh, just going to cast some butt plates here. It's an old uh, Marlin butt plate, and this is a really old Remington, really beat up um, butt plate. And uh, just gonna try to give them a cat, try to cast them. And uh, here's the rifles they're off of. Okay. Um, I was gonna do. I figure I'll start with something. I figure this is a fairly simple project, so I'm gonna try to start with this, and um, then we'll work our way up. So, got them in the uh, got them in the flask here. And you know, what, let me try to reposition. Let me go ahead and reposition the camera and uh, give you guys a better angle here. All right, guys. So now um, I got the uh, the patterns in the mold here, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little parting compound. That's what you're kind of seeing that that kind of that white stuff down in there. So let me just kind of give a little sprinkle here, and uh, this is just going to help us when we go to take the pattern out of the mold um, it'll just, it's, it's a release agent so I had time to make a proper release. shovel for the uh, getting the Petrobond out of the bottom of the bucket here yet but um, I'm just using this little Tupperware thing in the meantime and uh, my riddle is really a fine, a super fine um, mesh screen, like a screen door screen it's really too small for this application. Um, kind of has a hard time getting the uh, the sand through the small holes and stuff like that, but it'll work out okay for right now. And uh, I'll eventually just take the screen off and put a quarter inch uh, hold screen on there. Yeah, this kind of has a hard time pushing through here, but like I said, it's not bad for starters. So. Live and learn, I guess. We'll just keep working it. All right, and you can see we got a pretty good, pretty good layer down now. So now that they're basically covered, we can go ahead and just dump the rest of this in here. Like so. Set that out of our way. And just kind of start pressing this all down in. Okay. Get some more. Now at this point I think I can start ramming it. And here's my rammer. This is uh, something my dad made for me out of a piece of 4x4. Four four. So, just gonna get it evenly spaced in here. And I'll just kinda walk around the side here. Now they say you don't want to ram it too much and you don't want to ram it too little. If you ram it too much, your sand will lack permeability so the gas won't have anywhere to go and it won't, the, molt, the metal won't flow right. But if you don't pack it tight enough, then the, when you go to take the mold apart, it won't stay to get, you know, the sand will just fall out of the flask. So, sort of a fine line, I guess, between too much.
We didn't really want those to come out yet. So, what I'm gonna do is try to place this sucker back in. And this one too. Okay. It's because my molding table is too small. Um, okay. Go ahead and get our alignment pins in here. So we can line it back up later. A little bit more parting compound. I wonder if I should have riddled it into there. Probably. No, that's okay. Tubal Cane says work around the outside first. Boy, that sure does pack down quite a bit. I'll tell you what. Now I think we could go just a little. Just a touch more. You know, just a little bit more. Whatever it needs to be. It's uh. Like I said, this is a learning experience for me, so... Okay. Got a little deep there. Alright. Let's go ahead and cut our sprue. With our sprue cutter here. Now I know my patterns are pretty much on either side of the center so I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> tubal cane says mark the depth with your finger you don't want to go all the way through and I'm going to think about right about here it's going to be pretty good okay screw out and again I'm just going to cut a little bit of a Okay. Take our alignment pins out here. Pin one, pin two. And uh, go ahead and let's get our excess put in this barrel here since I got hardly any room here. And I have designed a new molding table, by the way. This is just a uh, temporary so it'll work for the meantime all right so let me go ahead and get our hold out of the way here okay let's go ahead and get our patterns out In gates, okay. Not to be confused with an in gate. This is going to be an in gate, and this is going to be how the metal is going to flow in to our part. Okay. Now, tubal cane says these don't have to be real deep. Be 
because they're flat back patterns and they don't need that much flow to fill the pattern. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and make our riser event. This is a cut here for the riser. Here okay, um, so this is what we're looking like so far. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put my molds back together. And I know how they go because I have a, uh, a design that I drew on the front of my flask. <sighs> Try to get all the loose dust out of the way. Alright, here we go guys. I'm going to put it back together now. And our alignment pins, pin 1 and pin 2. Slide her down. We should be absolutely perfect now. And there's our mold, guys. So, alright. The mold is ready. Now, uh, let me go ahead and we'll turn the camera off. We'll fire up the furnace and uh, we'll, right, we'll guys, melt some metal. ready to fire up the furnace here. So uh, here we go. See if I can get a better look for you guys. Try that. So that's, I mean, that looks pretty good. I mean, you know, uh, we're gonna, you know, it's, it is what it is. You know, like I said, I had a leak, I had to get a port. So it looks like it came out pretty good for what it is. So 